In many ways, I'm sure they feel the loss of their leader and comrade most of all. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the most iconic kills in DC animated films. Beware of spoilers ahead. Make daddy proud. Deliver the punchline. Number 10, Joker kills Jason Todd, Batman under the Red Hood. The death in the family rocked Batman to his core. When the Joker held Jason Todd hostage, he beat and brutalized the boy wonder with a crowbar. Whoa, now hang on. That looked like it hurt a lot more. So, let's try and clear this up, okay, pumpkin? And for the final killing blow, Joker rigged the warehouse he was keeping Jason in to explode. Batman did everything in his power to reach his sidekick in time. Unfortunately, he was ultimately too late, and Jason died in the explosion. Jason. This truly tragic moment became a crucial part of the Batman mythos. After this point, Jason Todd will be reborn as the Red Hood, a bloody reminder of one of the Dark Knight's biggest failures. Bruce, I forgive you for not saving me. But why? Why on God's earth? Is he still alive? Number nine, Catwoman silences Hush, Batman Hush. Ah, uh, admiring my beauty, Mark. The damage to you may be more severe. Batman will find you. When a new criminal called Hush begins orchestrating a series of attacks against Batman, all bets are off. If you want a sense of how dangerous the villain is, his plans led to a night where a mind-controlled Superman tried to kill Batman and Catwoman. The diabolical Hush is eventually revealed as Edward Nigma, aka the Riddler. By the time Batman and Catwoman discover the truth, they are eager to beat the villain senseless. A brutal brawl nearly results ugly in Edward almost falling into a vat of molten metal. Don't let me die! Please! Oh, pull me out! Pull me out! Leave it. While Batman tried and likely would have saved him, Catwoman purposely cuts the rope holding Nigma. He plunges to his doom before the building he's in explodes for good measure. While Batman wasn't a fan of Catwoman's cut, Hush was unquestionably silenced. He didn't have to die. You're crazy. Number 8. Sal's Death by Laughter Batman, Mask of the Phantasm Your hands are just as dirty. Dirty. Don't touch me, old man. I don't know where you've been. When longtime mob boss Al Valestra realized he was on the brutal vigilante The Phantasm's hit list, he knew his time was close to running out. He was already knocking on death's door thanks to his old age and medical condition. Sal thought he could improve his chances by meeting with the Joker. That's what I want to see. A nice big smile. However, this measure majorly backfired in the absolute worst way possible. By the time the Phantasm tracked Sal down to kill him, they discovered the gangster had already been lethally poisoned by the Joker's laughing gas. While the mobster might have died laughing, there's nothing funny about this situation. I guess the joke is on me. You're not Batman after all. Looks like there's a new face in Gotham, and soon his name will be all over town. Number 7. Jon Stewart gets roasted by Darkseid. Justice League Dark, Apocalypse War. I go to claim Oa for my empire. Any remaining resistance shall not be a problem. While Justice League Dark Apocalypse War had a ton of violent deaths, there was one particular demise that stuck with us. After an attack against Darkseid goes horrifically wrong, the galaxy's remaining heroes struggle to resist the big bad. But the Green Lantern Corp still insists on making one last stand. Brightest day in blackest night. Unfortunately, Darkseid is able to utterly decimate their forces. Despite the odds, an injured Jon Stewart tries to use the central power battery to recharge his power ring one last time. But Darkseid spites the hero by sending magma to blow up the battery. Teleport a portion of Earth's magma here. I'd like to make a point. The resulting explosion leaves John as nothing more than ashes. Overall, this kill was one hell of a way to send a message that the heroes were toast. Number 6. Superman Murders Joker Injustice What did you do? I'm pulling the best joke ever. It'll be my master 
zombies. <laughs> Joker begins this bleak movie by orchestrating a series of events that led to Superman causing the death of Lois Lane. To add salt in the wound, her demise directly led to the destruction of Metropolis. While Batman was prepared to toss the clown back into Arkham, Superman wasn't willing to let the vigilante go so easily. The Man of Steel makes it very clear that he would no longer tolerate the clown's actions. Please don't do something you'll regret for the rest of your life. I already have. And in a shocking moment, he executes the Joker with one punch. The incident propelled Superman into a tyrant, sparked years of division, and arguably doomed the world. It reminded us all what could happen if the Man of Steel showed no mercy. Don't. You'll throw away everything the Justice League stands for. Everything you stand for. I won't be held back by ideals that don't protect the innocent. Number five, Batman burns Dracula. The Batman versus Dracula. It's scarcely midnight, Batman. The sunrise will not help you this time. Batman battling Dracula is a fight we never knew we needed until we saw it. When Dracula is resurrected, his new plans place him in direct conflict with Batman. While Batman's not quite on Dracula's level in terms of sheer power, his power of having prep time made all the difference. During their final battle in the Batcave, Batman leads Dracula towards a gigantic machine that stores solar energy. And once the machine was powered on, Batman made the vampire see the light. I'm the Batman. And you're dust. If Dracula being set ablaze and withering into bones wasn't cool enough, the shot of Batman punching his skull clean off his skeleton definitely was. This is by far one of the most epic Dark Knight finishers of all time. I shall sweep that into the dustbin straight away. Number four, Constantine explodes Nergal. Constantine, City of Demons, the movie. Voodoo John, how old fashioned. Got you here, didn't it? To say the demon Nergal was a nasty creature would be the understatement of the century. Not only did he slaughter countless innocent civilians, but he also dragged the innocent astraluge to hell. Unfortunately, all of this was possible due to a mistake Constantine made. So it was only appropriate for a petty dabbler of the dark arts to take Nergal out. The battle initially looks like it would go in the demon's favor. However, Constantine is able to use a spell fueled by love called the Candever Curse. Understand. It's the Candever Curse, Nergal. That's love you feel. Renee and Trish's love for Chaz, and it's all inside the girl. Its overwhelming power caused Nergal to be exploded to bits. It may sound ridiculous that a demon was vanquished with the power of love, but hey, if it works, it works. In order for the curse to work, I had to channel Renee and Trish's love for you into and through Nergal. Every last bit of it. Number three, Thomas Wayne and Deadshot kill Reverse Flash. Justice League, The Flashpoint Paradox, and Suicide Squad, Hell to Pay. This was a kill that took two movies to complete. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. As long as I can siphon off the speed force, you can't escape this timeline. I'm afraid there just isn't enough speed force to go around. <laughs> While Reverse Flash was wasting time bad guy monologuing during the Flashpoint Paradox, he was shot by Thomas Wayne. It seemed like the act stopped the villain and saved Barry Allen. However, this killing blow didn't actually kill him right away. After Flash reset the universe while time traveled, Reverse Flash showed up in a new timeline. He shockingly revealed that he was able to escape death at the last second in the Suicide Squad Hell to Pay film. I drew the speed force into me with every ounce of willpower I had left. I literally bought time. I'd expanded my moment of dying into days, maybe weeks. While trying to get a literal get out of hell free card, Deadshot executed the speedster. It was impressive that it took a supervillain, a Batman, and two timelines to finally put this evil speedster down. Tell me, we got him. He just crossed the finish line. Number two, the Joker's death. Batman Beyond, Return of the Joker. During Batman Beyond Return of the Joker, grisly details of Joker's unceremonious end were revealed in flashbacks. Say hello, JJ. <laughs> it all started when the clown and Harley Quinn captured and tormented Tim Drake in order to turn the kid into a Joker Jr. The brainwashing seemed to be absolute. As a result, the clown prince of crime ordered his new assistant to kill Batman. However, 
Tim fought his orders and eliminated the Joker. That's not funny. The shocking moment and its gut-wrenching aftermath was etched into our brains forever. We never thought a Robin would cause the Joker to take his last laugh. We buried the Joker deep beneath Arkham. The only other person who knew what happened that night was my father, the first Commissioner Gordon. He promised to keep our secret. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Superman is killed by Doomsday. The death of Superman. Fascinating. What kind of civilization would produce that? The death of Superman was a moment where time stood still. After the beast called Doomsday was released, he tried to kill everything in sight. His mission was majorly stalled when he came up against Superman. The two traded a series of devastating blows in a true battle of titans. And when Superman put everything into a final killing blow, Doomsday fatally wounded the hero. It's never easy to see any superhero struck down in combat. That thing is he? Yes. Seeing the Earth's strongest champion fade away felt devastating. While the Man of Steel would find a way to overcome death, we'll never forget how the loss of his life made us feel. Superman was an, was an example that inspired, inspired us, us to reach, reach beyond, beyond ourselves, to soar towards a better tomorrow. Is there a monumental kill that we forgot? Let us know in the comments down below. It was as easy as beating a puppy to death with a kitten. <laughs> Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.